States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all! Aaliyah, Sadie's is coming up. How do I get a date? How do I know what to wear? Ms. Barnes and Ms. Merrifield are going to give you the inside look. Ms. Merrifield, could you tell us some history of the Sadie Hawkins dance? Yes, uh, Sadie Hawkins was based on a cartoon strip. Um, Sadie Hawkins was a character in which she could not find a husband. So what her father did was set up a race for all the single women and bachelors in the town. And if uh, the single woman could catch one of the bachelors, then uh, he was to be her husband. So who asked who to this dance? Traditionally, um, a girl is supposed to ask a guy to the dance, but um, it could be anybody. You can ask a friend, you could go with like a group of friends, so it doesn't have to be specifically a, a, boy, a girl asking a boy. And what should you wear to this dance? Uh, the theme for Sadie's is twinning, so you could wear a matching outfit, or um, you could get kind of crazy and wear like a costume if you would like. And what's the prize for the best proposal? Uh, we're giving away a $25 gift card for the best Sadie's proposal. We hope to see you there on March 18th. Don't forget to tweet out your proposals to hashtag be my twin for the win. Ladies, don't be afraid to ask your guy. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Tyler. Make sure you get your tickets for the Sadie Hawkins dance. You get tickets for $10 in the counseling office. The dance will be held on Friday, March 18th. Ladies, get out there and ask somebody. RHS is now starting a bass fishing club. Their goal is to teach students about wildlife conservation, fishing techniques, equipment, and boat safety. They are starting a GoFundMe page to get funds for equipment if you are interested. Visit their website at gofundme.com slash wine.bass. The SAD Club will be doing a distracted driving campaign this week to raise awareness for the dangers of driving distracted. Here's today's PSA video supporting their cause. How can you even say that to me? Are you dead serious? Is he serious? What does he want? Remember, don't drive distracted for the safety of you and of others. Wondering where the graduation list is posted? Check the general office window. Make sure your name is spelled correctly because that's what, how it will appear on the diploma. The list will be available until March 24th. Book fair runs all week. Bring your money for this week and buy a great book. If you're planning to attend Michigan State next fall, there will be a student reception on April 5th. Students that have been accepted and are preparing for their next steps Sign up in the CRC by March 26th. Now here's Ashley with your daily sports report. What's up, RHS? Ashley here with your daily sports report. There is a mandatory tennis meeting tomorrow, March 8th, in Mr. Haley's room. For anyone interested in softball, a meeting will be held in the cafeteria today after school. There is a hockey meeting today. Anyone interested in hockey for the upcoming year, report to the PE classroom directly after school. Varsity girls basketball played their district final Friday and more about that tomorrow. Varsity boys basketball won against Garden City on Thursday. Great job, boys. That's all for your sports report. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ashley. Happy birthday to Brianna Bain, Kayla McGuire, Adam Palazzolo, and Drake Fuglar. Hey, Ashley, what's a hair's favorite season? I don't know. What is it? Follicle. <laughs> I've been Ashley Olette. And I've been Katie Shirts. Stay, Stay punny, punny, RHS. Rosie O'Donnell. Hey RHS, I'm Eric Delanoy and I recently saw the newest Marvel movie, Deadpool. Marvel is known for their superhero movies, but Deadpool is the exact opposite of a superhero. He kills people and he terrorizes the city that he lives in. Let's get into the pros. Um, 
pros of this movie is that it's oh. super funny. I was laughing the entire movie. And the action and special effects is wonderful. The cons of this movie, however, are that the villain, Ajax, he's not well written out. I didn't like him at all. Overall, I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. And I would highly recommend this movie to anyone who loves superhero movies. Give it to you. He go give it to you.